Hey, what's going on YouTube? Nick was back with a new video. Um, today is a little different. It's not exactly a stream content video, um, but it's a little bit of a announcement uh, video for Twitch streamers. Um, Twitch finally made a tool that could be really useful to streamers if it's done properly. I, I think it's interesting to make note of. A lot of people might not know about it. Um, it came out yesterday. It's actually called Creator Goals. Um, but before we jump into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you want, hit that like button. Both of those really help me out a lot. Um, but without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So today we will be talking about the new creator tool that Twitch integrated into their site. They call it Creator Goals. What are Creator Goals? Essentially, Creator Goals are pretty much what they sound like. They're trackers um, that have set goals for your viewers to try and reach. This could be useful for getting your subscribers new emotes. And they even give you a widget if you want to put it on your stream. However, if you don't want it on the stream, it sits in your chat for your viewers and chatters to see. Very cool stuff. So, what does this mean for other services like Stream Elements and Streamlabs? Well, um, Stream Elements and Streamlabs aren't going anywhere, I don't think, anytime soon. Um, they already had these features in Stream Elements and Streamlabs, and they are much more customizable. However, where I think Twitch is superior to those two is it's able to add Twitch integration or Twitch chat integration, um, where it actually shows it in Twitch chat. Uh, I believe as it updates and stuff, it pops up like a hype train in Twitch chat. But I don't think Stream Elements and Stream Labs are going anywhere anytime soon. Do I think Twitch is pushing for Stream Elements and Stream Labs to be completely replaced? Do I think that this will replace Stream Labs or Stream Elements? Um, I, I, I think the way Twitch is currently handling things, I do not think Stream Elements and Stream Labs will be uh, retired for the foreseeable future. Um, however, that being said, I just don't see Twitch going that deep into that territory. Like, uh, right now, most of your notifications come through on Twitch, uh, on your stream manager dashboard thing. But I, I feel like Streamlabs and Stream Elements will always have that overlay um, and that uh, creative ability that just Twitch will never have. Um, I feel like just in order to do that, they would have to spend time to recreate an entire uh, system. And sure, they have uh, Twitch Studio, which is its entire software. But I, I don't know if they would exactly... do what Stream Elements and Streamlabs does well. I think, again, everyone has their preference. Some people use Streamlabs, some people use Stream Elements. Either way, um, I think it'll come down to a, a preference thing. I don't think Twitch is going to kick them both out of the games at all um, or anytime soon. But... Stream Elements and Streamlabs will always have powerful tools, um, and I think Twitch will continue to work on creating tools for creators to use over time. Now, there is a downside to this. Uh, I believe this is a new affiliate and up tool. Um, so what I mean by that is only affiliates and partners have access to it. Uh, the, the best way to test this would be logging into another account 
or in, t in, in with a new account. However, because there are only subscriber and follower goals on this widget, I think it is safe to say that non-affiliates can't use it. But if you can, let me know in the comments down below. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, like, this is a, a, a new tool that's utilized, uh, that's usable in Twitch's uh, site for creators. Um, right now, they don't really have big goals. I think they're kind of thinking, like, uh, bits. They kind of don't need a goal, maybe. Um, but it might be also be so that the bit policy is followed a little bit um but overall i think uh, the the way they are handling things um at, at least tools i think they they do a really good job with their tools and i think this uh could replace uh, some trackers for some streamers just having a built-in twitch tracker to in real time track your followers and subscribers uh is pretty cool now i i don't see big partners using this because first of all um they don't need it i i see more of the 20 plus view streamers using it uh, but I, I I really don't see a use for it beyond like a thousand viewer streamers, um, just because the like there's really no use for it. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what's new in the Twitch space, um, as of today. Well, yesterday I guess, but. Um, if you guys want to hang out with me, um, my Twitch link is down below. I live stream every single day almost, except for Tuesdays. That's not going to change. 7 p.m. MST, uh, twitch.tv slash Nicholas content. And yeah, I think that's about everything. I hope you dudes have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.